Hello everyone! Today we will talk about notifications in the Ruhavik app. We believe that this is one of the most important functions that our application has, because it always keeps you informed of any incident and ensures the safety of a unit. Let's take a look at the all types of notification your unit can have. Let's go to the unit menu, then settings, then notification settings. All notification types are listed here. Let's quickly go through each item. Geofence notifications will be triggered if your unit enters or leaves the geofence indicated on the map. For example, in this way you can control your vehicle so that no one steals it from the parking lot. Alarm event notification will inform you about some alarm event on your tracker. The speeding notification will be triggered when the set speed is exceeded. For example, let's set 60 km per hour. The beginning and the end of the trip can also be indicated using a notification. After the notification is triggered, you can see where and when the trip started by clicking on the notification in the list. If your device is powered by a battery, you can always know when the device needs to be charged. So, you can set the percentage of battery when notification should be triggered. For example, let's choose 20 and 30. It happens that the device stops sending messages, because for some reason the tracker has turned off. You can use our application to receive a notification that there have been no messages from the tracker for a while. For example, you can set 5 minutes, 10 minutes, up to 20 minutes. Tower notification will come if your unit moves with ignition off. Then don't forget to push save button to save all your settings. At the moment these are all notifications that you can receive in our application. However, we are right now working on expanding the number of notification types in the application. Notifications on parameters from your tracker will soon become available. It is also worth noting an important point that you can receive notification in a different ways. So, let's look at the notification tab. In the free version, only push notifications are available. They are enabled by default in the free version. You can see this at the list of notification types. As you can see, mobile push notifications are enabled. With any of the paid subscriptions, you will be able to receive any notification in Telegram, by email or using webhooks. We have a separate video on the possibilities of premium subscriptions where you can see all the benefits. We recommend that you set up notification for your units to ensure that your property is safe at all times. Have a nice day and take care.